Hello there and welcome to today's Daily Dominion, which is Prosperity Menagerie. Not Prosperity, um, Plunder Menagerie. <coughs> we have Cursed for our trait, which means that when you gain landing parties, you will get a curse and a loot. This is going to be pretty irresistible for the AI, I imagine. There's no trashing. There's quite a bit of draw, quite a bit of gaining, quite a bit of plus action, so. No VP. I sort of expect the AI to buy a lot of landing parties and then I don't know what they'll do from there. I mean, typically they do black cat stuff. I don't know how much that'll happen here. Um, I'm a little worried that just buying landing parties is somehow like quick enough here, even though it, I don't think in general it would be very good, but you get the loots and then most turn, many turns you'll be. So landing party is this card. I don't really know. I'm sure I've used it at some point, but not very often. Has this powerful on play effect, but you don't get it back into your deck until you pl have a turn where the first card you play is a treasure. So it's it's basically a one shot, um, activated city kind of effect. Though it doesn't have to be necessarily just one shot. You may be able to get it back. Um, it's a kind of a weird card because, of course. This is a very, very strong effect for engines, but then the restriction is... I, anyway, I don't think it's, it tends to not be that great, but sometimes it, there's a trick, or sometimes you can just gain them cheaply, and then it's quite good. But here you can just get the loots. I mean, it's a way to get some powerful treasures quite, quite cheaply. Anyway, that's not really that important. I think I'm going to try... I mean, I'm going to try and build... There's so much draw here, and there's certainly plenty of gaining. Falconer, loot, or tools. Tools is an anagram of loots. So how exciting. And then uh, Wealthy Village can give you loots. Animal Fair can give you buy if you have to have it. Plus action shouldn't be really too much of a problem with Taskmaster. Gaining fives here is like super easy. Um, plus buy from abundance as well. So there's just a lot going on here that should be pretty engine friendly. Mostly just a question of how quick is it? Um. And when do you stick various things? When can you add whatever things to the deck? Because the the opening is a little awkward. Um, at least until you can hit a point where you're, you're buying five somewhat consistently, or gaining five somewhat consistently. Uh, so that is that is a little tricky. I will grant that. I'm going to try Abundant Silver. Yeah, they're right into it. They get an orb there. Orb is okay. All right, we have this. I think I'm going to take Falconer. Okay, what do they do now? So they opened... Okay. And they have puzzle box. Well, they're moving along. It should maybe be just a silver. Okay, this was a little unfortunate. Um, we can get a loot ourselves here. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We get the staff. Staff's nice. Pretty happy about the staff. Any party sword curse, okay. We get a big turn here. 
What did they do? What's that play? Um, I'm gonna gain a Taskmaster to hand and buy a Pilgrim. So there they get the they get to throw the throw the um what do we get here your head that's pretty nice you get to put the landing parties back they may double here wouldn't be surprising that's a really sexton is probably quite nice here So they're playing all these black cats. Um, just gonna keep on keeping on. We need to try and draw the falconer if we can. Okay, so we'll top deck this pilgrimage. We'll falconer for a tools here. <clears throat> and then the good thing is they do have a lot of curses, so the point-wise, it isn't as bad as it might otherwise seem. Uh, let's get a, another tool. Okay, we need a sextant there. That's all right. It would be nice to have gotten a taskmaster there. So we'll get one here. Well, actually, maybe I should have thought about... No, oh, they're just a black guy. That's fine. I don't know. Three pile wise, we're not in too much trouble. I guess they can rush the landing parties at some point. But... We're getting, we're getting there. We're certainly getting there. I mean, we could, well, I don't really want to do that yet. I don't really want to buy a province while there's still curses, to be honest. Um, well, unless it's going to be winning, you know. There's a wealthy village. We could also at some point get a huge commerce, but we don't really have the draw to draw it all. Okay, they're getting all the landing parties back on top now. So we're kind of in a spot where we need to at least, I will say this, they top deck for, okay, they're gonna activate one black. I was gonna say, You shouldn't really, you're not supposed to be able to tell exactly what is on here, but. Also, this order is quite weird. Anyway, they do have a black cat on top, unfortunately, so. If we green, we're likely giving them the curse emptying at least. 
Now we could, uh, we may be able to, um, well, we're just going to have to wait and see what we've got as far as the draw. <coughs> Like here, we could take a landing party. I don't know how much money we're going to have. To be perfectly honest. Um, I don't think we have $40, do we? We have two silvers is all. Two silvers in abundance. A you know, if we can draw a deck through the landing parties and get those loots, probably that's enough. How many loots do we have? These two, and then we have a sextant and a staff. We got some more last time. Amphora. Um, that's the question, is can we get to 40? If we have about six loots, that's 18, 20, 22, 29. I don't know. We don't have seven loots. I don't think we even have six loots. Maybe we do. If we get to eight loots, that's 24, and then we just need 16. Sixteen. Hmm. And then also there's a buy question because few of our loots don't get plus buy. Um, also, the abundance doesn't exactly count the right way. Yeah, this is... Uh, I mean, we don't have to go this turn either. Because we can beat, but they're probably going to double province is the problem. Let me think. Because they have all the landing parties on top now. If we get a doubloons, we're probably fine. I also don't actually know if we'll draw. We played one, two, three, four. So we have th three more pilgrims. Which we may not actually get around to all the loots from the landing parties. Um, we can, well, yeah, if we spell scroll for a wealthy village, we don't get a loot. Okay, so we do these. I mean, if we get a doubloons, then we maybe buy short. Nine, eleven, thirty-five. Mmm, it's a toughie. We get insignia, which is not 
particularly good. How does spell scroll work? I just want to read the text of spell scroll. I wonder if the we won't be able to find it. Uh, that'd be kind of funny. What did we get? Amphora. Insignia doesn't get plus by. And then we just got these curses. Well, that was kind of fun. We were likely to... We're pretty likely to end up with the curses anyway. Okay. So... We can't... No, we can draw it all. I guess we can just count the money now. 1, 2, 3, 10, 14. S this isn't just a bot. This isn't anything, actually. Oh, no, Hammer can activate it. Okay, Hammer can activate it, so we can count it. All right, so it is... Okay, let's start over. <laughs> 23, 10, 14, 17, 20... 32, but there's only six more, or 38 bucks. Yeah, we needed the doubloons. I guess we can say, what does four provinces and a duchy do? Or I guess even alternatively to that, we can say what does, um, can we win off the landing party stuff? Like, can we triple province, triple landing party? We can gain two landing parties with tools and whatever. We can also gain a pilgrim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's say we empty the landing parties. That costs eight. And we decide we still have 30 left. That's enough for three provinces and an estate. Well, I don't know. Do we have the buys for that? Mm. Well, this is the 38 we'd be down to 30 that's enough for three provinces and a duchy so that should be enough maybe it works Also, it's possible I just miscounted somewhere. Um, okay, so let's get this. And we did count okay. Cool. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. 
Okay. Well, we got there. Um, like I said, if we'd gotten a doubloons, we would have been yeah, at, at five provinces, which would have been easier to count. If we had gotten endless chalices, apparently we did get, well, that was at the very, very end. If we had gotten endless chalice in that section before I drew, that would have been two less, 36. Uh, uh, we, we only needed the estate. The estate wasn't, we didn't need the duchy. The estate was enough, so I think it would have been fine. Still, yeah. Two endless chalices, I think, would have not worked. But as long as only one of them, as long as one of them gave three dollars, I think that was enough. All right, well, <clears throat> there you have it. This was a pretty fast game. Um, I think a pretty cool game. My draws were quite good, so I don't know. And I don't know how to evaluate if the bot's draws were good or not. Um, but I maybe on average might get another turn against the bot. It's not totally clear what they're going to accomplish on their turn, except that they'll certainly buy one province. Um, or I guess possibly even pile out, right? They were going to draw, play four landing parties. And if I, though I wouldn't have emptied, I wouldn't have lowered the landing party so much. So there wouldn't have been, the pileup probably not possible. Um, but if they double province, it would have been kind of hard. So it would have been at 28. <clears throat> and I wouldn't have had any, and I was still going to probably end up with most of the curses. Um... So that would have been a little awkward. Province of Duchy, probably fine still for me. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow.